Hey guys, this week we're going to look at Fractal's foot controllers, the FC6 and FC12. Now the FX3 is a mighty beast, make no mistake about it. But how about for live use or even studio use when you need to change presets or scenes on the fly, or you want to turn an effect on or off? That's where the FC6 and FC12 foot controllers come in. Like their names suggest, the FC6 has 6 foot switches, while the FC12 has 12. Otherwise, the two units function exactly the same. You connect the FC units to the FX3 with an XLR cable, but guys, please don't use one of those old Guitar Center mic cables that you've had stashed away for the past 25 years. Buy yourself a good quality mic cable or buy a fast link cable from Fractal. But hey, that's it. One cable. You don't even need a power cable because the FX3 can power one FC unit with the connected XLR cable. The FC units are built like a tank and are hefty as well. The FC6 weighs just under seven pounds and the FC12 weighs 11 pounds. They're really not all that big though. The FC6 is just over 11 inches by nine inches and stands three and a half inches tall. And the FC12 is just over 20 inches by nine inches and also stands three and a half inches tall. The FC units don't have a mini port of their own, but the FX3 does. The FC units can trigger the FX3 to generate and transmit MIDI messages from its own MIDI outport to connected devices. The FC units are plug and play with simple settings, or you can create your own custom layouts. Layouts are pages of foot switches arranged in familiar ways that you can switch between on the fly, giving you greater control with fewer switches. You can change layouts using the master layout menu or with special dedicated layout select foot switches. Built-in foot switch categories include banks, presets, scenes, effects, looper, control switches, and more. Okay, let's do a quick overview of the top and rear panels of the FC controller. Number one, the chassis. The FC is housed in a rugged steel chassis. A pair of protective end caps also serve as feet and provide a convenient gap to lift the unit from the floor. Number two, the main display. The main display is a 2x20 character display that remains highly legible under a variety of lighting conditions. The main display shows the name of the current preset and the name of the current scene as well as various other useful pieces of information when you activate a switch, select the layout, and so on. Number three, the foot switches. The foot switches are extremely smooth with quiet action and have no mechanical contacts to fail. Each foot switch can be assigned your choice of one tap and or one hold function and these can be different on every layout. Number four, the LED ring. An LED ring around each switch changes color and brightness to help you navigate and operate the FC unit. By default, the color shows the category of the switch's tap function. Presets, for example, are green. Banks are yellow, effects are blue, and so on. You can change the color for any category or any individual switch. The LED ring also changes its brightness to show the state of a switch, and each function has its own built-in rules for how this works. For example, a scene switch is dimmed unless that scene is selected. An effect switch is dim when the effect is bypassed and bright when the effect is engaged, or off altogether if that effect is not found in the current preset. You can change ring brightness in setup, foot controllers, config. Number five, the LCD mini display. Every foot switch on the FC units also has its own customizable 128 by 32 graphical mini LCD display. Mini displays can display preset names, scene names, effect names, channels, and more, including custom text. A preset switch will show the name of a preset. Scene switches show scene names. For greater flexibility, each of the different functions has its own list of mini display label options that you can choose from, and you can even enter custom text. Number six, pedal jacks. Four pedal jacks allow connecting up to four expression pedals or switches. Number seven, switch jacks. Two switch jacks allow connecting one or two switches each, one plus two and three plus four. Number eight, the USB port. The USB port on the FC controller is reserved for future use. It is not required for firmware updates, which are performed via the FX3 over Fastlink 2. Number nine, the Fastlink port. This one, the XLR mail connector. The main Fastlink 2 port is for connecting to an FX3. The Fastlink 2 connector provides power and two-way communications over a single standard XLR cable. Number 10, 
Fastlink 2, the daisy chain connector, which is an XLR female connector. The other Fastlink 2 port is for connecting up to three more daisy chain FC units. You connect extra units using a standard XLR cable. While daisy chain, you can have two FC units mirror each other, so you can have a guitar tech off stage sharing switching responsibilities with you. Number 11, the power inlet. Any additional FC units connected in the daisy chain require power from an AC adapter. Okay, so your new, or new to you, FC6 or FC12 just arrived. Now what? Well, obviously you open the box, then the second box, and finally you pull the FC controller out of its heavy plastic bag. Then you admire it before connecting an XLR cable to the Fastlink port closest to the power inlet. Connect the other end of the XLR cable to the Fastlink port on the back of your FX3. Turn your FX3 on, and the FC unit will light up and show you which firmware version is loaded. Now the next thing you should do is make sure that the FC unit has been loaded with the factory defaults. To do that, you would press the knob on the FX3 front panel that says Setup. Press Enter on FC controllers, and use the page right buttons to go over to the reset page. Once there, you choose either FC6 or FC12 and press enter. Something to keep in mind, if you ever do a reset system parameters on your FX3, you'll have to reset up your FC controller because everything on it will get zeroed or blanked out. Now, do you have any expression pedals or switches to connect? I did an episode on setting up an expression pedal already and I'm gonna do a video on setting up switches a couple weeks from now. For right now, I'm just gonna look into the FC layouts. Then we can look into expanding the setup with pedals and switches in another video. The FC controller is organized around layouts. A layout is a set of up to 12 foot switch definitions, each of which includes one tap and one hold function. You can change layouts on the fly to access different pages of switches. For example, one layout might be used to select presets or scenes, while a different layout operates the looper. Any layout can be completely customized to serve your own needs. Layouts even have their own names to make navigating easier. The FC has access to eight layouts at any one time, plus the master layout menu. Here are the default factory layouts. Number one, presets layout. With the FC6, you have access to four presets, plus bank up and bank down. With the FC12, you have access to 10 presets, plus bank up and bank down. Number two, scenes layout. With the FC6, you have access to six scenes. With the FC12, you have access to all eight scenes with bonus switches for preset up, preset down, tap tempo, and tuner. Number three, the effects one layout. With the FC6, you have access to five effects and the sixth foot switch brings you to the second effects layout. With the FC12, you have access to 12 effects. 4A, the effects two layout. Now this is the fourth layout on the FC6. You get access to five more effects, and the sixth foot switch brings you back to the effects one layout. Number 4B, the channels layout. This is the fourth layout on the FC12. The factory layout gives you access to amp one channels A through D, drive one channels A through D, drive two AB, delay one AB, phaser one AB, and reverb one AB. Number five, the looper layout. With the FC6, you have access to six essential looper functions. With the FC12, you have access to every control on the looper block, plus looper bypass slash engage, tap tempo, and tuner. Number six, the per preset layout. With the FC6, you have access to six placeholder switches per preset. With the FC12, you have access to 12 placeholder switches per preset. We'll look into setting up switches later on. Number seven and eight, the Perform 1 and Perform 2 layouts. These are example layouts that show you how you can combine elements from different layouts into something you'd use on stage. Now on the FC6, Perform 1 has preset up, preset down, scenes one through three, and the sixth foot switch brings you to the Perform 2 layout labeled effects. That layout has four effect foot switches, one foot switch for tap tempo and tuner, and the sixth foot switch routes you back to Perform 1. On the FC12, Perform 1 has presets 1 through 4, scenes 1 through 4, bank up, bank down, tap tuner, and the 12th foot switch brings you to the Perform 2 layout labeled Effects. That layout has 10 effects foot switches, one foot switch for Amp 1 AB, and the 12th foot switch routes you back to Perform 1. 
Now, really, most guys could use just those two layouts, Perform 1 and Perform 2, for their whole gig, regardless of whether they had the FC6 or the FC12. Now, to get to these layouts, you have to use the Master Layout menu. To get there, you rock your foot over the two rightmost foot switches on the controller. You don't press both at the same time. It's a one-two motion. First press the bottom foot switch, hold it, then quickly press the top foot switch. Once there, each foot switch activates one of the eight layouts. Um, there are eight layouts, but the FC6 only has six foot switches. How do you get to layout seven and eight? You just repeat the two-step process to access the master layout menu again. You can toggle back and forth between the two pages. Now, I know this might sound a little confusing right now, especially the rocking your foot part for getting to the master layout menu. Really though, you only do that pretty much in the beginning while you're setting everything up. Once you get the two perform layouts set up the way you want them, you rarely go to any other layout, much less the master layout menu. Okay, you might be telling yourself that there is more flexibility with the FC12, and yep, that's true. But the FC12 is almost twice as wide as the FC6, weighs four pounds more, and costs quite a bit more. Yeah, both units have their pluses and minuses. If stage space is at a minimum, or your budget is small, or you only use a few presets and effects, go for the FC6. If you have lots of room to jump around, you got deep pockets or a more elaborate setup, spring for the FC12. Okay guys, next week we'll do some programming on the FC controller. You don't want to miss this, so make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on.